Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a cook and clean with me. I have not done one of these forever, but it might be a little bit on the shorter side. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but we're just gonna be focusing on making dinner tonight and also cleaning up my kitchen. So, <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Brandy. I like to post cleaning motivation twice a week. It's been a really long time since I have done a cook and clean. So I just figured why not, let's do one. Tonight is the perfect night because we are making um, a recipe that I don't think I've shared on this channel, but maybe have shared on a vlog channel a while back. But I wanted to go ahead and include it in this channel in case anybody hasn't seen my vlog channel, then you wouldn't have known about it. So uh, hopefully this will give you a new dinner idea to make for dinner. It's super easy and it's really good. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and we're just going to go over the ingredients first. Um, also want to say that I do all things cleaning here if you're new here. I um, would love to have you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys coming to check out my videos. It means a lot. So um, yeah, we do homemaking motivation over here. Uh, we do whole house cleans, uh, lifestyle videos, just like Pretty much everything to do with cleaning is on this channel. And then I do run a vlog channel where I do homemaking over there as well. Cleaning, vlogs, cooking, um, just like a little bit of everything in my life. So if that interests you, go check it out. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. We are gonna be making a one pot cheesy kielbasa skillet. It is so good. If you like kielbasa, you'll like this meal. Um, and if you like pasta meals, which who can go wrong with pasta? My whole family loves Italian food, so pasta is a win always. So we got our kielbasa. I got two, you're just gonna need a pound, so I got two here. Two uh, beef polska, we got the beef polska, if I'm saying that right, kielbasa, and yeah, I'm gonna dice this up. You can either slice it, like the recipe calls for just like sliced kielbasa, or you can dice it. I think I'm going to dice it because I do have a little boy um, that I think would prefer it to be a little smaller for him to eat, and it'd, be, it'd just be better that way, I feel like. So, I'm gonna dice it. We got need one onion. We got some minced garlic. I You can do fresh if you want to, but I always just buy this because it's easy and I'm lazy. We need um, some pasta. I would have got the great value kind, but they were out of that, so I had to buy the name brand. <laughs> um, they actually, the recipe calls for bow tie pasta. I, we don't really prefer the bow tie. I'd rather have like rotini or penne or uh, just like noodles, you know? Like that's just the kind of pasta that we prefer. So I went ahead and got rotini, but if you like bow tie pasta, you can use whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, a can of diced tomatoes. You're gonna need two cups of chicken broth. Um, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, or you can use regular milk, but I find that the heavy whipping cream is always better in recipes. So that's what I use. And then you're gonna need a cup of cheese. I just have some leftover cheese here that I need to use up. So you need a cup of cheese. You can actually add more cheese if you want to. Sometimes I add a little bit more than a cup because you can't go wrong with cheese. And then you're gonna need some salt and some pepper. That's it. It's really easy. It's gonna be an all one skillet here dinner. So that's also really cool because you won't have to dirty up a bunch of dishes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm probably going to do a voiceover and explain what I'm doing and how I'm doing everything. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So I don't know about you guys, but I have to have a clean stove before I start cooking. So I'm just taking my microbrand cleaner um, and wiping this stove down really good before we go ahead and cook our meal. Um, I really like the microbrand cleaner. Um, actually, I'm almost out of it, so I need to get some more. Um, let me know if you guys have a multi-surface uh, cleaner that you guys like to use in your kitchen just to quickly spray down the countertops. Let me know down in the comments what you use because I'd like to know. But we're going to be doing like more of a deep clean of my countertops tonight that I do once a week. Um, I normally do it on Friday because that's just when I clean uh, the main part of my home every week is on a Friday. So um, this was Thursday night as I'm filming this. So I went ahead and got the countertops done and that saved me a lot of time the next morning. But I just use Dawn dish soap and a little drop, not a whole lot of bleach. 
to really sanitize the counters really well. You guys will see me do that after we cook here. I actually like to cook and clean as I go. It is so much better than waiting until to let it all pile up and wait and do it all at the end um, because as this meal will simmer for 15 minutes, um, I'll just go ahead and start cleaning up the dishes and stuff like that and it's that's just how I like to do things. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be adding our uh, tablespoon of olive oil to the skillet. You're going to chop up the kielbasa, throw that in there, and go ahead and dice up your onion and get that in there. You want to saute the onion with the kielbasa really good and make sure that the onion's pretty translucent.
So once all the liquid is absorbed, you can take your lid off and go ahead and add your cheese in. Like I said, you can use however much cheese you want, any kind of cheese that you want. I don't think that really matters. We just have some sharp cheddar and mild cheddar mixture here that I'm just going to go and top this with and you kind of let it melt down. You can mix it up. Um, even if you wanted to stick it maybe and get the cheese all like browned up a little bit more, you might be able to stick this under your broiler or something if you wanted it like that. Um, that would probably be pretty good as well. You just wouldn't want to get it to burn up or nothing so it wouldn't dry out. But this is a delicious dinner. All right, I have to see if it has enough cheese in it. I think it does, but it's time for the taste test. I just want to say really quickly that I'm very thankful and grateful that I have the husband that I have because right now he's putting my he's putting our son into the bath and going to bath him because he knew that I was filming this video and also making dinner and it's a little later normally we don't make dinner this late I mean it's not late but it's like later than what I normally do it's 5 40 right now so it's almost you know 20 minutes till six it's a little bit of a later dinner for us um so I'm a little bit behind but I did go outside and play with Cole when he got home from school so um, I was out there with him for about an hour and then my husband has been in his room with him while I'm out here doing this video for you guys and cooking. So oh. guys, <laughs> you have to make this dinner. I think kids will love this. You will love this. It's so easy to do this dinner, and it's it's a, it's one of our favorites. Um, we really like it. So I might just add a little bit more cheese. Honestly, I don't really know if it needs any more, but I told you guys that I had extra, so it is really good. So I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of my video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope it gave you some motivation to uh, try out a new recipe if you have not tried this one. I hope you guys give it a try. Let me know down below if you do try it or you can also tag me on Instagram. Um, I have my uh, Instagram and everything linked down below. And also I got my vlog channel linked as well if you want to go over and check that out if you are new here. But I thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're having a very happy holiday season. And even if you're not having a happy one, I hope that um, you can find comfort in this season. And um, I hope that you guys do find some joy out of it. I know that it's really hard this time of the year for a lot of people. So I hugs to you guys. I wish I could give you guys a hug because I just like I know a lot of people are struggling. So I hope that you will have a happy new year coming forward. I'm very excited for a new year. Um, but at the same time, I feel like 2023 was a pretty good year for the most part. Um, we had a lot of good fun memories that were made and I just want to thank you guys again for being here. Um, your support, your nice comments, um, everything that you guys have given me, um, your advice, um, really means a lot. So I just wanted to say thank you for that and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.
There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me I ah, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now Just like go, lose control Play songs on the radio too loud be magical This could be magical Here we go. 